I'm going to show you how to make a free drip irrigation system that you can make in one minute or less that you can take anywhere. And if you're doing gorilla planting, you can disappear it in seconds. What's more, if you watch to the end, I'm going to show you how you can use this simple strategy to also freely fertilize your plantings with irrigation without getting arrested for indecent exposure. Uh-huh. So what do you need? A plastic bucket with a metal handle, ideally either three to five gallon size. And then you want a drill with an eighth inch diameter drill bit, a Sharpie permanent marker. And if you don't have a drill, um, you can use just a nail heated up with a lighter or fire. So to do it, what you need is a plastic bucket, ideally with a metal handle, because the metal handle won't break when you're carrying the bucket full of water to your planting. You can get these for free from the dumpsters of donut shops, you can get it from the bakeries of grocery stores. We want to make an, about an eighth inch diameter hole, not on the bottom, but on the side. Okay, That way if there's any debris in the bucket, it won't clog it as it would if it's on the bottom. Now you can make that hole either with a drill or with a heated nail. I'll show you that in just a sec. But with the drill, what you want to do is, you got your handle here, you want to make the hole here, not parallel with the handle, because when you're carrying this, if you make the hole here, the water that's running out won't get all over your leg. Whereas if you made it here, it's gonna pee on you. More on the pee later. Here we go with the drilling of the hole. So if you don't have a drill, you can use a nail, make sure it's got a pointed end, and a lighter. So sometimes when I'm using these irrigation buckets uh, for plantings on the side of the road or a public footpath in my neighborhood, people um, will walk away with it, because people love free buckets. So you gotta make sure you write on it, um, irrigation bucket, uh, please do not um, remove. Uh, and believe it or not, that actually helps quite a bit. Um, that way people don't think, ah, oh, nobody wants this, it's not here for any purpose. It actually is for a purpose. So now I'm going to fill the uh, bucket with rainwater from my rainwater tanks. The great thing about rainwater is it's much better for plants and soil life than municipal water or well water, any kind of surface water, because it does not contain the salts that those other water sources do. And that salt can be a toxin of sorts for both soil life and, and the plants. That's why house plants look so much better when you water them with rainwater than, say, the water from your sink faucet. Now for the irrigation, the fertilizing for free with urine. So why would we put urine in the, in the water? Well, urine's a great natural fertilizer. Uh, it's rich in, in nitrogen in a form that plants can use. In fact, two Swedish universities did a couple studies where they found that the average adult releases enough nutrients from their urine to provide 50 to 100% of the fertilizer needs to grow the food needed by another adult. Another cool thing in terms of water savings is in Sigmota, uh, Sweden, they have an annual pee outside day. And on that day, they save 50% of the water that would typically be consumed in the flushing of toilets. So we're getting a lot of benefits with this. And the great thing about that rainwater is it's helping dilute the urine so it's not too intensive a kick of that fertilizer. Why would I use this irrigation system? So a lot of times um, I'm planting a single plant or maybe just a couple plants and uh, I need to get them established. So anytime we're doing a new planting from nursery grown stock, we have to water from one to three years to get that newly planted plant established because its roots are all bound up in that pot. And so we need to help its roots grow out so that we can cease all supplemental irrigation. Now for that to work, first we have to plant the rain. So within this water harvesting traffic calming chicane, it is lower than the street. So the rain that falls will not drain to the street, instead the street will drain to the plantings. Doing this system, I don't need to put in an expensive drip irrigation system. I don't have to 
consume more plastic. I'm just using plastic that was already thrown away. Another advantage of this system is since we're like slowly dribbling out the water rather than doing a really quick blast with a hose is um, the water is going deeper. So we're getting a deeper infiltration of that water to help grow and stimulate deeper root growth. As soon as I'm done watering, I can just take this thing to the next spot. What other videos would you like to see from me? Let us know in the comments section. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. For more information, be sure to check out the new full color editions of my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond, which also, the first one, is now available in Spanish. And you can get them at deep discount direct from me at my website, harvestingrainwater.com.